don't be afraid to appeal. If you, if you, if you have documentation that the service is medically necessary, don't be afraid to appeal. Like there, th there's a system set up for due process for a reason. Um, and you have a right to use it. Um, if you feel your child needs that service and, and you're getting gatekeepers who you feel are being unreasonable, you feel that your child really does qualify for it. Just that's my advice is don't be afraid to use that, that appeal process. Um, and that goes, your child Medi -Cal, and that goes for Medi-Cal. That goes for, yeah, that goes yeah. for any of, any right. of the services. A small fraction of people mount appeals and a surprising number of you know, something like 50 or 60% of appeals are granted. Insurance companies and government benefit sources count on you being demure or going away or thinking you're not entitled. But I would encourage families to make sure they have a solid basis for their appeal, that it's not just something they want or feel their child is entitled to, but something in their benefits and coverage that actually they can key that appeal to, to make sure they're, they're arguing on the funding source's own terms. Mm -hmm. Don't appeal on medical necessity if it's not a medical necessity uh, issue. Read the reason you're getting the denial. Look at all those boring pages in the back of your claim and see exactly why it's being denied and make sure your appeal is responsive to the actual reason why you're being denied. Target your response. That makes a more win, regardless of what the the funding sources, that's a more winnable argument when you're talking apples to apples or oranges yep. to oranges. That's really important advice. 